for a moment. Being Irish and with how I was raised, I've always held back, never blowing my own trumpet, so to speak. My intention has been to let my analysis speak for itself, and it does for individual dreamers and a select group who followed my long career in this field. But I want to be clear here. There are a lot of books and websites devoted to dream interpretation that are worse than useless. They are written by people who either deliberately mislead or are too ignorant of the topic to even know how wrong they are. I'm not sure which is worse, deliberately misleading or misleading out of ignorance, but the end result is the same. People with an avid interest in the correct interpretation of dreams end up, at one point or another, reading bogus sites or books. And they either give up or persist until they find keys written by people who know what they are talking about. It is my mission to set the record straight. We are 103 episodes in and this is the first time I've spoken like this. I promised I'd be more punchy on the YouTube show. There's punch number one. A stupid and factually incorrect analysis is not just a waste of time, it can be a matter of life and death. When I came to America in 2011, I joined a dream group incognito. It was research for me. I wanted to know who was influential in the dream sphere in America. I didn't intend to interpret any dreams in the group, but when one participant recounted his dreams of snakes in the supermarket, followed by another dream of blood in his kitchen fridge, I broke my silence. I told him the dream was a warning of stomach cancer and that if it was my dream, I'd go straight to the doctor. He shared that he had had severe abdominal pains that were causing him to miss work. I was tactful and he was heeding the message until the next person in the group uh, shared that he thought the dream meant he should contact his sister. What the? An interpretation straight from his mind. I was going to say mind, what did you think? Dreams are not sent to make you feel good. They are precision guidance and healing. Ignore them at your peril, but you are better off ignoring your dreams completely than reading rubbish written by someone who doesn't have a clue about what they are talking about. I ask for dreams every week, and each week, lucky listeners get their dreams interpreted correctly.